Good morning everyone. Myself, Dr. Vishwa Razlal, Faculty of Biotechnology, Jamsitpur Women's College, Jamsitpur. In previous video, we have discussed about what is vaccine and what are the types of vaccines. So, vaccine is a biological preparation that improves immunity to a particular disease. A vaccine tropically contains an agent that resembles a disease causing microorganisms and is often made from weak or killed forms of the microbes and this is called a vaccine types live attenuated vaccine killed vaccine subunit vaccine toxoid vaccine dna vaccine and recombinant vector vaccines today we will discuss about recombinant vaccines of the many promise of the biotechnological revolutions, none appears to offer more immediate applications for improving the welfare of mankind than the biosynthesis by recombinant DNA methods of vaccines of the disease of human and animals. Conventional vaccine development research for the production of both live and killed vaccines for human and veterinary use has become rather static in the past few years. It is only recently that the emerging technology of recombinant DNA has become available for vaccine productions. In most instances, purified recombinant DNA vaccines should be more stable than the comparable traditional vaccines, particularly with regard to temperature requirements. Finally, the cost for quality control of recombinant DNA vaccine should be reduced, which may ultimately allow developing country access to the vaccines. So, a recombinant vaccine is a vaccine produced through recombinant DNA technology. This involves inserting the DNA encoding an antigen such as a bacterial surface protein that stimulates an immune response into bacterial or mammalian cells, express the antigen in the cells and the purifying it from them. So, the vaccines are produced using recombinant DNA technology or genetic engineering. It is called recombinant vaccine. Recombinant vaccine are those in which genes for desired antigens of a microbes are inserted into vector. Different strategies are using the engineered vector, example vaccinia virus that is expressing desired antigen as a vaccine. The engineered vector, example yeast, is made to express the antigen such as a vector is grown and the antigen is purified and is injected as a subunit vaccine. Other expression vectors include the bacteria E. coli, mutants, salmonella species and BCG. Genes encoding for significant antigens are introduced into plant such that the fruit produce bear foreign antigens. This is edible vaccine and is and is still in experimental stage. Next coming to a recombinant hepatitis V virus vaccine production. This is all the this is the overall mechanisms of recombinant HV vaccines productions. From the first step is the isolation of hepatitis V antigen producing genes from the hepatitis V virus. And then the plasmid DNA is extracted from the bacterium and is cut with restriction enzymes and form up plasmid vectors. The isolated HV antigen producing gene is inserted into the plasmid vectors and form a recombinant DNA. The recombinant DNA is introduced into a yeast cell 
and form a recombinant yeast cells. The recombinant yeast cells are introduced into the fermentation tank, which it will involve the growth of yeast cell on a complex fermentation medium. The hepatitis V antigen proteins are released from the yeast cells by cells disruptions and will purified by a series of chemical and physical method. The purified protein are bottled up and ready for vaccinations in humans. Then come to an advantage and disadvantage. Advantage, those vectors that are not only safe but also easy to grow and store can be chosen. Second, antigens which do not elicit protective immunity or which elicit damaging response can be eliminated from the vaccines. Example, cholera toxin A can be safely removed from cholera toxin. Next, disadvantage, since the genes for the desired antigens must be located, cloned and expressed efficiently in the new vector, the cost of production is high. Second, when engineered vaccination, vaccinia virus is used to vaccinate, care must be taken to spare immunodeficiency. So this is the recombinant vaccines, what is recombinant vaccines, how it is produced, what are the advantages and disadvantages. Thank you.